you should vote for me. There we go. That was easy, wasn't it? For many of you guys watching, the next election that you get to vote in could be a really hard choice for you. Now this may be because it's your first ever election, or maybe you have voted before and you're fed up of having to figure it all out again. Whatever the case though, there's a lot of political parties out there. In America, you've got the Republicans and the Democrats. In the UK, there's Labour, the Conservatives, the SNP, the Lib Dems. In Canada, there's the Liberals, the Conservatives, the NDP, the Green Party, the Bloc Québécois, and the the newly created People's Party. And I'm here to tell you guys which party is the one that everyone should vote for in every single country across the board. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Starting with Canada. No, I'm obviously not gonna tell you guys who to vote for. I'm sorry if you thought I could make it easy for you. Also, this video isn't about why you should vote. I'm presuming you guys already want to vote. I hope you wanna vote. Perhaps we should have made that video first. I can't tell you who to vote for, but I can tell you how to get to that decision. Let's go. Metaphorically. I have to sit here for the rest of the video. The first thing that might jump to mind is a political quiz. You answer some questions online and the quiz does all the hard work for you by telling you who to vote for. Sounds pretty great, doesn't it? I did a Harry Potter quiz once and it told me my wand has a unicorn tail hair core. Brilliant. Now I'm not gonna lie, I was going to trash all of these quizzes in this video, but then I looked into a few of the political ones a little bit more. Obviously there's a lot of terrible ones out there, but some. Some quizzes really put the work in. A good example for national elections is isidewith.com. Now they ask you a whole bunch of political and social questions to see what you agree with and also how important the questions are to you in the first place. After you're finished, they show you which candidate best match your answers and why. I'll leave it at that before this starts to sound like an advert for them, but basically, quizzes from legitimate sites that cite their sources can be a good start when it comes to figuring out who to vote for, but it's just a start. To really know who to vote for, you have to go further. Now, firstly, think. What do you actually feel strongly about? What really gets you fired up in a conversation? Do you feel strongly about immigration? Do you think higher education should be free? How do you feel about basic universal income, gentrification, gun control, climate change? If any of those issues make you feel a certain way, that's where you always need to start. Next, look up who is actually running in the election, obviously. Whether it's local or national, there's gonna be a website that shows what they believe in and what they will do if they win that election. Now you may totally agree with them, or you may think they're just talking out there, but you may think they're wrong. Either way, many countries have government sites where you can go and see how the candidate voted in the past on a whole range of issues going back years. That one's quite useful, but wait. There's even more. If someone catches your eye for the right or even the wrong reasons, you can always learn more about them. For national elections, you'll easily be able to find interviews with them where hopefully journalists have actually pressed them on some big issues. And again, you'll get to see if their viewpoints line up with yours. If they're a candidate for a local election, you should easily be able to attend campaign events that will be listed on their websites or social media. With the local ones, you can even call them or visit their offices. Hello? <laughs> Hopefully. You know, they want your vote and they will be more than happy to try and explain themselves to you if you're on the fence about them. Oh, and also, make sure you do follow them on social media. That's always the fastest way to see if you like anyone, I think. See what they post about for a few weeks. You'll either like them or unfollow them by the end of the month maybe even block them. I say read the news, attend campaign events, talk to your friends about politics. If you have a political discussion with them, you may end up figuring out your own views more clearly. You may also lose a friend if you're not careful. Maybe uh, just smile as you talk. The way I see it, if you landed on Earth today and you didn't know which food that you like, try different meals. If you don't know what music to listen to, listen to different artists. It's the exact same with politics. You have to really get stuck in if you want to figure out who you're actually going to vote for. And don't let anyone tell you who to vote for ever. You have to figure this out for yourself. And the number one way to figure out who you should vote for is to follow postable. Aha, obviously, that's, that's what you need to do. 
don't at me. Thanks for watching the video guys, hopefully that put you on a good starting path to figure out who you should vote for in the next election. In the description box you will find links to all the websites and resources that I found while making this video. Check them out, hopefully they're going to help you as much as they helped me. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe to Postable, leave us a like, all that good stuff, and I'll see you around.